Gamers, Retro Free Gamer here, and today's review is based on the PS1 game of Kurushi. Kurushi. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not 100% how to pronounce it, but it's on this game. Back in 1997, a PlayStation 1 game was released called Intelligent Cube, which was based in America. However, in Europe, the game is called Kurushi. In the game, you're a little man character where you have to. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna have to stop right here. This is gonna be the easiest review on a game I could ever do. Why? Because this guy's gonna do it for me. Basic Rules The concept of the game is to try to capture the cubes. The player can mark a spot on the stage by pressing the X button. By pressing the X button again, the player can deactivate the mark. The game is played by marking a spot and then successfully deactivating the spot. Now let's try to capture a cube. First mark the spot where a cube should be captured. When the cube is about to land on the marked spot, press the X button. The marked spot is then deactivated and the cube is captured. Repeat this to capture all the necessary cubes. If any cubes are left to fall off the stage, the number of fallen cubes will be calculated on the block scale. Every time the number of fallen cubes exceeds that of the block scale, the player loses the last row of the stage. The player must prevent the cubes from falling off the stage. When the player is avalanched by the cubes and falls off the stage, it's game over. Forbidden Cube Not all of the cubes should be captured. The black cubes are called the Forbidden Cubes. The player must leave these cubes alone. For every Forbidden Cube captured, the player will lose the final row of the stage. Let the forbidden cubes pass by and fall off the stage. The player can accelerate the speed of the cubes by pressing the square button. Advantage Cube The player can use the green cubes or the Advantage Cubes to efficiently capture the cubes. This is an Advantage Cube. When the player captures an Advantage Cube, the spot will be marked in green. By pressing the triangle button, the player can capture the surrounding cubes. All the cubes in the marked area will be captured. Let's try to capture cubes by using an Advantage Cube. Mark and capture an Advantage Cube. Then capture the surrounding cubes by pressing the triangle button. Using the Advantage Cube, the player should be able to efficiently capture multiple cubes. But at the same time, the player must make sure that no Forbidden Cube is included in the marked area. Ah! 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, that was pretty easy for me. However, there are other features in the game. There are such things like different textures you can choose as well. You also have the choice of choosing two players. If you've got another friend with you, I suggest you play it. This game is just freaking awesome. So the first level pretty much starts off on four blocks across. If you're shit up, the levels get harder and harder and harder. Each block is worth 100 points. The maximum score you can score in this game is 40,000 points, except the first, third and final stages. When the game is over, either by finishing the levels or by falling off the stage, the total score is displayed, as well as an IQ. And that's pretty much for the game, your points get totaled up and you get your official IQ. I am so proud. However, in 1999, a sequel to Nintendo Coup was released, known as Kurushi Final, The Mental Box. But however, there are some differences. There are new challenges such as 100 block attacks, survival modes, and create. So there you go gamers, I hope you enjoyed this review. Like my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys soon.